What's up guys and welcome to another video. My name is Michael. If this is your first time watching one of my videos, I would like to welcome you. Here at this channel, what we do is we review action figures, collectible toys, and from time to time we do photography and video tutorials. So if you're into that, you might wanna consider staying with me. And if you like what you're watching, don't forget to subscribe. And if you can do me a favor, if you like this video, make sure to like this video. So moving on with today's video, today we're gonna be reviewing a condenser microphone by the company Fine Fine, so don't go anywhere. All right guys, so right here with me, I have the condenser microphone kit with me. This is again by the company Fine Fine. Uh, I wanna go ahead and take this moment to say thank you to this company for sending me this uh, microphone to check it out. I'm really excited, so thank you. Uh, so what are we gonna do today? So we're gonna go ahead and unbox uh, the condenser microphone. We wanna see what's inside. And then I'm gonna go ahead and test it out. And then at the end, I'm gonna give you my, my thoughts and also what I think about this microphone, all right? So let's go ahead and unbox it and see what's inside. So right here we have this um, car, uh, it has a company website and on the back it has a thank you letter. Dear sir, madam, thank you for being a valued customer. We hope you're impressed with our customer experience. All right, moving on, right here is the user guide. And one of the things that I love is the illustration. Pretty cool, great job. All right, and moving on right here, we got this uh, little bag. It looks like some additional accessories. Uh, let's take a look and see. That's with the business, little business card here. It looks like some backup rubber strings for the shock mount. And also we got a threaded metal ring. I believe this is for uh, the bottom of the microphone. And also we have another one. Um, a rubber string with the handle. This is, um, I believe, is for the uh, pop filter. So, really, really nice. All right, so let's go ahead and put this back here. And then we had this uh, little uh, business card with some illustration, which I like. And it shows you what these uh, strings are for. So, really nice, good job. All right, moving on. So let's see what else we got here. So right here we got the shock mount. Feels good, feels sturdy, solid plastic, good. And then we had the uh, USB cable, USB-B to USB-A uh, and C. Uh, and then we had the boom arm here. Okay, nice. And then we have the uh, pop filter. Right, and right here we got a C clamp or a table mount. This is where you put your boom arm. So cool. And last but not least, we have the condenser microphone right here. Pretty cool. Right here you got a knob for the uh, gain level so that way you can control that and a mute button, which is really handy. And Right here on the back, you have a headphone 3.5 uh, jack connection. So pretty cool. And this is where the uh, thread goes to. So that way you can screw that and make it firm. All right guys, so that was it inside the box. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and put it together and let's go ahead and have some fun and test it out. All right.
right guys and right here we are testing our t683 fine fine microphone uh the setup was really easy and as you can see i have my arm hooked here to my table and this really looks legit i always wanted to try out one of these condenser microphone but i always use for my youtube videos my boom microphone here my dd uh, so this is uh, a great opportunity to try something new, which I think is really nice. So I don't know. I guess you guys, you guys are going to be able to judge. Um, you guys are going to be the judge. Let's put it that way. You guys are going to be the judge of this video and you guys are going to tell me what do you think? What do you like uh, if you like this microphone or not? So far from what I've been listening to and checking some of the uh, testing that I've been doing so far, it sounds really, really good. For $70, you can't go wrong. So right now I'm recording audio with my DD and I'm also recording with the T683. So I'm gonna be going back and forth and what I'm gonna do is on the screen, I'm gonna show you when it's recording with the DD microphone and then I'm gonna show you when it's recording with the fine fine microphone. I'll sh put it in the text below. So testing, I guess we gotta do the testing. Testing, one, two, three, testing. Uh, how do I sound from far away? Testing. Um, so first impressions, as far as the box, the box looks really nice. Nothing fancy about the box, but um, I think the, the overall presentation when you open it up and the way everything is organized, it is it was really nice. So as far as the first impressions, I had to say really nice. The look and the design of this microphone I like it, honestly. It feels solid as well. So it's made out of metal, the whole microphone. Everything else is made out of plastic other than the arm right here. Uh, but so far, it feels sturdy and solid, which I like. Now, the main thing, I think the most important thing is the sound quality. So what I want to do is I want to continue to go back and forth so that way you can judge yourself and see which one sounds better. I'm also going to do a really quick test with my Rode microphone. Um, since here at the channel, uh, what we do is we review action figures, collectible toys, and we do tutorials. We're, we don't stream games, which is something I want to do in the future, but we don't do that yet, uh, or podcasts and none of that. So that's why I had never considered using these microphones. Uh, but in the near future, this is a request that a few people are asking me to start uh, doing the streaming game and all that. So I think this is going to be a great addition to to Max Film, to this YouTube channel, which is really nice. So honestly, I'm really excited about this. So a couple features that I wanted to mention um, on this microphone, obviously you got the knob right here where you can control the gain level, which is really nice. So you got that option here. The compus computer setup, let me go back in. The computer setup was really easy. All I had to do is literally plugged it in and it was already connected and working so as far as the uh, setup it wasn't a pain now there are some other additional things that if you want to do let's say you want to use the uh, 3.5 headphone jack from the uh, computer to listen to to your audio then you have to change a couple settings but other than that you can actually monitor your audio from the mic so you don't even need to connect anything else to the computer on other than that USB B so if you want to monitor the audio you can just connect it to this 3.5 and this is it all right so let's see what we got here all right testing testing and i can hear myself wow i sound so professional so overall really cool design uh i think it sounds really good i think for the overall price which is 69.99 plus the tax and shipping and handling and all that probably about 75 maybe 80 dollars but i honestly think that this is really worth the price i was looking online just doing some research and i noticed that a lot of these microphones the higher ends they can range from they can range from 500 all the way to three thousand dollars so when we're talking about something affordable with good quality uh, i think this is something you might want to consider taking a look at it so really really nice all right so the other thing i wanted to do really quick i want to compare this audio with the um 
also with my lab mic from Rode and just test it out and see the difference. I know there's different microphones for different purposes, but in this case, I just want to go ahead and test it out because in my channel, well, I want to be able to consider the possibility. So far, this is the only thing I try other than the uh, lab mic. I didn't like the way the lab mic sounds, so I stick with my boom mic. So we're going to go ahead and test it out so you can listen to the difference and that way you can make up your own mind and be the judge of the sound quality all right all right and we are back and right now we are testing the Rode lab mic with the fine fine t683 just wanted to compare the sound quality i know again i mentioned this before there's different types of microphone for different types of purposes here in my channel i just review action figures and collectible toys and we do tutorials and all that so I'm open to the possibilities of using a condenser mic, using a lab mic, using a boom mic. So I don't have anything specific that I had to go with. So that's why I'm testing the sound so that way I can see, who knows, maybe I could consider using one of these condenser mics a little bit more. Or uh, I know I tried this one before. Oops, don't want to tap on that. I use the lab mics and I'm you have to add some filters uh, to get the sound where you really want it. But overall, these are great for a lot of events, especially for wireless events, you know, weddings and film and all that. These, these are really cool. Anyway, I'm just talking just so we can test it out. Blah, 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 blah. So, all right. Now, I want to do another test. In this test, I want to go ahead and compare the audio of just the camera. So just recording with the camera, the camera's microphone. All right. Comparing it with the uh, T683. All right. Here we go. All right, guys. And we are back. And now we are recording straight with the, the camera's microphone and comparing it to the T683. Uh, so you guys be the judge of that. Now you can probably tell the reason why YouTubers uh, don't use the microphone of the camera. Um, I mean, if it's the only thing that you have available, then use it, of course, you have to start somewhere. But if you can upgrade, the biggest thing that I recommend, audio will be like your number one thing. I will probably say video number two, but to me, audio is number one because you can have the most beautiful video uh, on YouTube, but your audio sucks, it's not gonna go anywhere. If there's something that you can start doing, just record yourself with the iPhone and just make sure you have a good audio, all right? So anyways, this is just a sound mic check, just testing and comparing again, the T683, which is this one right here, versus the Canon ER microphone, all right? So now we're gonna go ahead and go back. I'm gonna go ahead and do one more test, and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and connect the T683 straight to the camera using the headphone jack. And let's test it out and see how that works. All right, guys, and now I'm testing the uh, T683, and we're going straight to the camera using the 3.5 headphone jack. Uh, so what does that sound like? What are you guys saying? So again, at the bottom, every time I switch from the recording from the uh, computer versus the uh, straight to the camera, I'm gonna go ahead and superimpose that at the bottom so that way you know which audio comes from where. All right, so, so far, sounds really good. What do you guys think? You guys be the judge of that, obviously. So I think we got something solid here for uh, $70. Not bad at all. All right, guys, so what do you guys think? Uh, you know what? I forgot to press the mute button. Let's see how that works. I'm going to continue to... We're here. All right, so now you can hear me. So what I was saying is that... It has the mute button right here at the front, which is really easy to access. So if you need to mute the microphone really easy, just press there and the light, the LED light will turn red. So that way you're aware that, the, uh, that you're not recording any audio. All right, guys, in conclusion, what do I think about this uh, condenser microphone? I think this is a bargain, to be honest with you, for $69.99, you're not only getting the condenser microphone, you're also getting a pop filter, you're also getting the sh shock mount, you're also getting the boom arm, you're also getting the seat clamp or the table uh, mount. 
I honestly think for $69.99, if you want to start somewhere, this is the best way to start. Anyway, so if you are interested in uh, this microphone, I'm going to leave a description at the bottom where you can purchase this uh, microphone. Uh, and also, I forgot to mention, uh, they this company gives you a one-year warranty, which is really cool. And as far as the customer service, that's one of the things they brag about as far as their um the green car and also the, the review so if you have any questions or problems you can contact them and they should be able to get back to you so other than that again i just want to go ahead and say thank you to find find the company thank you for sending me this mic and i'm super excited can't wait to see what else you guys are going to come up with so other than that guys if you did like this video uh, and you would like to help me out just make sure you hit that like button and if you like the content i'm making you're welcome to subscribe to my channel welcome to the family and i'm going to try to do some more uh, action figures collectible uh toys reviews coming soon uh and i got some new more stuff coming soon so anyway guys i will see you guys next week and thank you for watching see you guys bye